Sid Chanel, and today I'm really happy to present this robotic arm I made. This is just so cool, and today I'm going to be showing you what this arm can do. Now I'm going to be lifting a cute little puppy. Here's the puppy. Hello. And now let's see a Lego magazine. Here I lifted a Lego magazine. What else can you grab? Oh, nice, a Rubik's Cube. Here's a Rubik's Cube. Let's see, puzzle box. Can you grab this? And now I can grab this water bottle. Full of water. I can even grab this bat. Game on. Now I can grab this Starbucks coffee cup. And this is the final object. And this that's all the stuff this thing can grab. What makes this robotic hand cool is that it can do a shake hand. It can do a high five and a fist bump. Yeah. So now I'm going to be showing you how I built this cool robotic arm. Here you can see to lock my arm in here and secure it, I attached two frames and a bar right here. You come a little bit more up here and then you see a touch sensor. What is that for? That's used for the claw. Like it's kind of like a switch. Like when you press it, here let me turn on the program. See when you press it, it will have the grip. But when I let go, it will go out. So it's like in out in out here i hope you can see it so when i press it in out in out so that's what the touch sensor is for now i'm going to be briefly go demonstrating for the claw claw the claw is used on this media motor right here and then the gear for the gear mechanism here you can see i use this small worm gear and i use these two um gray double gears and on the top here you can see i put these red pieces for some support i put some curved beams right here and a curved beam here and then you come here and then you can see these two tires what are the tires for the tires are for good grip because if there were no tires like i tried way before when i was making this i didn't use a tire so like when i grabbed the puppy and all the other stuff it just slid off and I couldn't carry it. The beam is connecting here because here, like it didn't connect all the way here and it would just fall off. So I just wanted some support like underneath here. So I made this all the way here and then put some support here and here. So then it connected like that and then I was ready with this arm. And I hope you liked my video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit this button here. Bye, I'll see you next time.